none of this is making sense so far. I'm so sorry, future me, that you have to. We're just gonna start over again. I can reach for a well-worn book to give me an escape. Hello, this is Casey from the future. I just want to say that I'm editing this video and it is it is a lot. I have a fever during it, as I will mention more than once. So there's rambling and honestly, it was entertaining enough that I didn't want to cut it all. So enjoy my fever induced rambling at Dressed as Ellen Adventure. I hope you enjoy. Please check out Bree's cosplay video. I will link it in the cards and in the description down below. Hers is so good and she looks so beautiful. It made me so happy. She was dressed as my wife. So you know, I might be a little biased, but that's just how it is. Hello friends, and welcome to another cosplay vlog. This month we are doing cosplays for Hero of Ages by Brandon Thanderson. This is my cosplay. I don't know if you know who I am, but I'm sure you can guess with the full white suit. I actually have white pants on too, so you know. We're full, full cosplay today. Sorry, there's stuff going on in the background. I'm a little out of it today and a little distracted because I got the second dose of the Pfizer vaccine yesterday and I'm feeling it today, let me just tell you. Not as bad as some other people have, so I'm grateful for that, but I do have like, definitely have a fever, definitely have like full body aches, definitely exhausted, which also might have to do with the fact that I finished Hero of Ages last night at like 4 a.m. You know, we're doing it. Yeah, so this is my cosplay. Um, I'll link everything down in the description, but honestly, I don't super recommend any of it. This is a really cheap Amazon wig because I had a wig that I was going to use, but I can't find it. One of the first things I started packing because I wanted them to be packed correctly was all of my cosplay stuff that I had previous to this endeavor. And I remember specifically holding the bag with the, the wig in it that I have that's very similar to this, but much better quality and puffier all around. I remember holding the bag and being like, I'm going to need this, probably, for the crab along, so I'm going to put it somewhere safe. And now, I don't know if you guys experience this as much as my mom and I seem to experience this, but it's definitely a phenomenon that we are both very familiar with. And it is the phenomenon of when you say, I'm going to put this somewhere, like, safe. I'm going to put this somewhere where I can find it later. It just disappears into the abyss. Like, I cannot explain to you why this happens, but seriously, as soon as I'm like, I'm going to need this later or soon, I should put it somewhere safe so that I can find it later. It's gone. Never finding it again. I mean, I'll maybe in the, hopefully, when I actually do move and unpack everything, I will find it, but at this point, I'm not sure, because I have looked everywhere. I don't even have that many boxes packed, just like a handful or so. And I thought maybe I had put it in like the ottoman for this chair I sit in, like it has like a put ottoman that has storage in it. I thought maybe I put it in there, put it in the shelf shelving I have here. I have to, I, it's nowhere. So I bought this like $10, $15 Amazon wig to be a fill in. Uh, but just know that I am aware that it does not look very good. Um, it could look worse. I do kind of like how puffy it is, although I do wish it was puffy all the way around. Like the back is very, I don't know how well you can see that, but the back is very like, cut short and this front is a lot. I really kind of like it though. Like, it's not what I was going to wear, but it works. It is the day of the live show. It starts an hour and 20 minutes. And yes, this is the first time I have put on this outfit. So I have the like full white. I don't think I actually said I'm Ellen, if that wasn't obvious with like the white jacket and everything. I kind of wish I had like could like pad out these shoulders a little bit so they had more of a like thing to them because I got pretty small shoulders but so this is what it looks like it's only taped to here it's not taped all the way down I have like a white tank top under though and then I have white pants on which I'll try and show you maybe maybe I'll like wear this outside it's not the worst outfit to wear into the common room not the worst outfit I've worn into the common areas of my apartment as if you have been following this channel you will know so yeah, this is, this is my Ellen. Um, I will link everything down below. It's only three pieces. It's this hair, this like jacket from Amazon and then pants from Amazon. And actually I really like these pants. I think I would wear them. I mean, they're white is the thing. Like, I don't know if I could ever have the like confidence to just wear white pants somewhere. But if I did, I would wear these because they're very comfortable. They're like high waisted and you know, they're nice. I will say the top is a different white than the pants. I don't know if that's 
obvious on camera or not. This is more like a cream color, which I didn't realize until I got it. And then the pants are more like a pure, a pure white, like a blue white. I'll probably actually wear this jacket at some point. I mean, it's also white, but I really like it. It's very dramatic. I will say that it looks like if you look at me head on, it, the buttons are like almost at nipple level, which is not great. But you know, it's not actually made to be worn closed. I have it taped closed. There's no like anything here. It's just taped closed and there's a safety pin at the bottom to help extra. So yeah, it's meant to be worn like open, but obviously that's not very Ellen now, is it? So this is probably going to be my shortest cosplay vlog because I really didn't have to do anything for this vlog and I forgot to film any like B-roll while I was getting ready and stuff. I was so distracted by actually getting ready. I should probably take my earrings out. Eh, I probably won't. It's just, it's too much work. I'm tired, I'm feverish, I'm very tired. Yes, but I finished here of ages last night at 5 a.m. and then I slept a few hours and now it's now and I drank uh, like a half a bottle of Pedialyte. I still have some of my coffee left. I'm probably gonna drink the other half of the Pedialyte while we do our live show because you know keeping it real with y'all I'm gonna need it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this live show if you went to it. If you haven't I will link it down in the description you can watch it back and see all of our hosts and stuff cosplays it will be a lot of fun i don't know what else to say my brain is a little cooking itself from the fever and the wig on top of the fever don't wear wigs when you have a fever let me just tell you it does not feel great it feels a little better than when i first put it on i will say that my brain is getting more used to it but oh also i painted my nails white because that felt appropriate and if i don't have them painted they break on everything so oh i will say if you haven't seen Bree's cosplay vlog yet I will link it down in the description you should definitely go watch it I think hers is gonna be much more interesting and I love her outfit so much she's already sent me pictures of like tests and stuff she's much more put together than I am this month and we are so proud and grateful because I was I'm just not <laughs> okay hello it's me from the future again just because I forgot to wrap this video up subscribe if you haven't already like this video leave a comment down below telling me how you liked my fever rambling or my Ellen cosplay. We can chat down below. I hope you're having a good day. I hope you are well and safe and your family is well and safe. Life before death radiance.